Let's get right into it. Let's get into the news. Now, of course, the big story today is that there was a special election in Georgia last night to fill a vacant congressional seat, and Republican Karen Handel defeated the Democrat John Ossoff. Now, I have a question. I've got a question about the American political process. Now, maybe one of you here can answer it for me. <laughs> when is there not an election? <laughs> There's always an election here. You love elections. <laughs> the only thing you love more than elections is moaning about the outcome of elections. <laughs> but that's right, the Republican won the election, and she did it the old-fashioned way, without the help of any Russians. <laughs> Experts say the Republican victory in Georgia shows that Americans may not be as dissatisfied with Trump as, let's say, Melania is. Now... <laughs> Here's some... <laughs> Chill out, what's your problem? <laughs> You're like a double groan then. You're like, oh, oh, sorry. Are you a Trump fan? Not necessarily. Well, shut up then. <laughs> now, here's, some, uh, here's some news from my home country. Uh, in her latest speech, Her Majesty the Queen did not mention Donald Trump's state visit to the UK, leading some to speculate that it may have been cancelled. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So, apparently, two can play this whole travel ban game. <laughs> the Queen wouldn't even mention his name in his speech, so, at this point, Trump has literally become Lord Voldemort. <laughs> but if Trump actually met the Queen, I can't imagine it. I can't even see it. I do not think it would go well. Do you know what I mean? The Queen, like... Trump's gonna meet the Queen, he's gonna be like, listen, sweetheart, is there a king around here I can talk to? <laughs> Why don't you go fix us some drinks? All right, okay, I'll see you later. In other political news, a photo of Marco Rubio giving Ivanka Trump a very awkward hug went viral on the internet yesterday. <laughs> Here's a shot of that terrible hug. Have a look, look. <laughs> Is that Marco Rubio or a guy going up to greet his very disappointed Tinder date? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Can we see it again? Pull it up again? Look at that. <laughs> Look at Ivanka, that is not how you react when someone hugs you. <laughs> That's how you react when you're waiting for a bumblebee to fly away. <laughs> Has it gone? Has it gone? <laughs> um, no, but look at it. Look at the photo again, look. He, Rubio, he looks like he's trying to move a rolled-up carpet. <laughs> <sighs> Finally, a little news for all of you Uber customers out there. I don't know if you saw this story. Travis Kalanick, the founder of Uber, has stepped down as CEO after shareholders demanded he resign. I don't know what he's going to do now. Because when most people lose their job, their backup plan is to go and work for Uber. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Even worse. Right after Kalanick left Uber, this popped up on his phone. I didn't even know you could give a half star. I didn't even know that was possible. However, look, if you're concerned about the future of Uber, don't be. Apparently, the board of directors already has a new CEO all lined up, and they say that that CEO will be arriving in five minutes. Wait, four minutes. No, six minutes. <laughs> nine minutes. Fifteen minutes. Why has it gone the other way? Where's it going? Why is it? <laughs> <laughs> 